This is the amount of people that are going on a frog walk tonight. As we get out in the open here, we then often find cane toads. And you might think, oh, cane toads are horrible creatures. But cane toads love humans, and they love cleared areas. So by mowing the lawn here, especially close to the dam's edge, we're creating the perfect habitat for a cane toad. And in the Amazon, where cane toads come from, they only live in human areas, in human villages, cleared areas. I lived and worked in the rainforest of the Amazon for three years, and I never saw a cane toad in the rainforest. They don't like living in forests. They love humans. They love you. <laughs> so we have to respect them. We introduce them. They're new Australians, just like most of us. I'm half French, a quarter Irish, and a quarter Mongol Australian. <laughs> so I'm about as new as a cane toad in terms of recent invader. So I'm happy to allow myself to live in this country, and I'm more than happy to allow cane toads to live with me. They're pretty harmless. They don't eat native frogs. And there's a lot of myths out there about cane toads. You can throw them all in the bin and uh, ask me if you, if you want to about any specific things. But they live in a totally different environment to most native Australian frogs. And that's in these beautiful mowed areas. So let's go and find what them. Is it that oh, what's that? Calling? Can you hear the graceful tree frogs calling? Oh, cool. Let's yeah. go and get one. <laughs> yeah. It'd be great to find one. I know. Yeah. When Kate Miller Heidke played here last year, yeah. the cane toads were calling in between songs. Oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> These glands here are the, called the parotid or the paratoid gland. I put one in and the water. I throw it in and he jumped, jumped, jumped. The frog? Yeah. Good on you. Be gentle. They're, they're gentle little animals. So, um, I did like this we have thing. native frogs that look identical to this, but they're just smaller. You have to throw they're it into the water. They're of the genus Euperolia, the, the, um, the toadlets. So, oh, They've got they beautiful eyes. Look at those golden eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got... <laughs> Just like my wife has eyes. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those eyes. So the only way I can get it to really exude poison is to injure it, to hurt it. So, yeah. So when a snake bites them and the fangs go through the body, then they'll start exuding lots of poison. So, what are all the, so the they make really good pets. What's all the lumps on it, the dots? The dots, all of the lumps on its backs are also poison glands. Ah. So they're all over the back. They're, they're just these rather large ones which are concentrations of poison. But there's lots of little bumps. But if you want to feel it, the way I know it, it is a female is that it's nice and smooth. So the thing with females are smooth and males are rough. She's so cute. Any idea why you might want to have the smooth back if you're a female and a rough back if you're a male? So the male can slide off you? So the male can slide off you after, only after <laughs> well, you're on the right track. You're on the right track. If a male goes into a plexus with another male, you can see under, underneath their belly is actually really thin, really thin skin, and really soft and really delicate. Oh, look at So when it goes into an plexus, yes, you can. When it goes into an plexus with a female with his belly, he feels lovely, smooth skin. But if it's a male, he feels it's like warts on warts, it's like sandpaper, really rough. Mm. And then he knows straight away oh, that he's made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and toads are pretty, um, you know, we saw that picture of, of the orange-eyed tree frogs where there were two males and one was trying to push the other male off. Mm -hmm. 
with toads, you can get balls of them and they'll actually drown the females Aww. and kill them. And sometimes after a big night, after a big toad night, you go to the pond the next day and there's dead females mm. in the pond and they've been drowned by these desperate males. The desperate males have gone on my feet and I had four of them on each foot fighting <laughs> for my feet, trying to climb up. <laughs> I've got a video of it and when I peeled them off, they yeah, the chase after me. <laughs> they were so cute though. I was like, you can't make me. I'm different, different species. Long species. They were so desperate. And then 